this girl is already heartbroken. Eh? <laughs> See, somebody can betray you or you can think they will betray you only because you have unrealistic expectations of them. <clears throat> well, if they do what they want to do, why do you think they have betrayed you? They're doing what they want to do, you must respect it. If you say, they're beloved to me, I love them. If you love a person, should you let them do what they want to do or should they do what you want them to do? For most people, love means you must do what I want. No, no, love means they can do what they want and we will love them, isn't it? You have this thing that if I love you, you must listen to me. No, no, if I love you, I want you to do what brings joy to you, isn't it? You see the concept of your beloved. I'm not saying that it is never true that somebody may be going off track and you try to do something for them, I'm not saying it's never true. But you don't take this position that somebody is wrong and you're going to fix them. They're doing what they want to do, isn't it? What they want to do right now may not be beneficial for them, possible. But you must look at it sincerely. Are you complaining because it's not beneficial for them or you're complaining because it's not beneficial for you? Most of the time it's this. Genuinely look at it. It's not beneficial for you but it's good for them, please let them do it. Eh? But they are damaging themselves, yes, then you have a right to intervene and try to do your best. But not always, not always can you enter somebody's life and do something for them. If I have to enter your life and do something for you, I have to earn it, isn't it? I have to earn a relationship where I can intervene in your life. If you don't earn that, you cannot intervene. So if you are unable to intervene, you must just understand you have not earned that closeness. If you… if you learn to be loving by your own nature, not because of somebody else or something else, I know the question is coming from Facebook, there's an enormous possibility <laughs> You can even love those people who don't even exist. So I'm saying it's a tremendous possibility. So <laughs> if you just become love, not love somebody, then you will know the nature of love. If you love somebody, it's a fickle happening because no human being will happen hundred percent the way you want them. Every human being on this planet is going to disappoint you, believe me. Not because they'll do something wrong, because nobody can fulfill the unrealistic expectation you have of them. It's simply not possible. Have you been able to fulfill anybody's expectation, I'm asking you entirely? Well, partially, but never entirely, isn't it? So nobody else will be able to do it. Unless you're still such a hopeless romantic, you're still waiting, that ideal person is going to come from somewhere. No, believe me, whoever comes, I want you to know, the ideal people whom you worship, when Krishna was there, his wives complained.